When you're doing a wall treatment like this, you're going to want to remove your baseboards. I've already done that, but here's a little demo for you. Score the caulk at the top with a utility knife or wherever you see caulking, and then use a pry bar to pull off those baseboards. Before you install your vertical shiplap, you're going to want to install your chair rail. Then measure how long you want your boards to be. I'm going to make mine a little longer so that they tuck behind the baseboards. This way I don't have to be too precise with my measurements. Next, I'm going to measure the width to give me an idea of how many boards I can cut down at my saw. Now I'm ready to install the first piece. On that first slat, I added brad nails into the front. But for the remaining ones, I'm actually just going to add it to the little groove. This reduces the number of nail holes you have to fill after the fact. Make sure when you're connecting that they're right in the groove and that they're pushed all the way up to the chair rail. Then all you have to do is use your brad nail to nail a couple nails in those grooves. I'll use my table saw to cut that last tiny skinny piece. Time to use some wood filler to fill all those nail holes. Next up is caulking. Makes all the difference. Lastly, I added a piece on the top of my chair rail mitered at the corner to give it a little bit of that something extra. I'm just gonna use my brad nailer to nail it into the top of the chair rail. Last but not least, it's time to paint. I always find when painting shiplap that it's best to get in the grooves with a brush first and then roll the slats. Here it is, all finished. A few coats of paint later and we're done.